Welcome to Emily and Kathleen's, uh, you know, pick you up half hour here. <laughs> we are going forward and our whole goal is to lift others up. And especially the people that are just starting out in this business and they've had some success, we want to interview you, we want to connect with you to see what breakthroughs you had, what, what helped you get through that first starting stage that so many stumble on. And we want to help others be able to uh, get past that, but not only that, but to help lift you to another stage. So our request is, is that if you're seeing this and that you contact Emily or myself and um, ask to be a guest. We would love to interview you and help move you forward in the business that you're in. Emily. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, one of the things that I think Kathleen and I have discovered since coming online is really just how important mindset is, um, mindset victory. Um, as you know, actually we sort of discovered it before. I personally have discovered it since getting online. And um, the growth, I feel I've had so much growth. Um, understanding the mindset concepts, particularly um, the Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, and things along that um, that line with the um, the secret and just beginning to be open to um, definitive purposes and goals, which I've always had, but not the language, not the concept of, uh, or the science of, if you will, um, mindset. Um, so Kathleen, um, by all means, jump on in here because uh, you have your own personal story as regards to mindset as well. <laughs> well, um, I have a very strong faith. So um, I rely a lot on uh, that inner faith to guide me and what's in my heart. And it isn't that I haven't been without struggle, but, you know, it's, it's getting focused you know, really listening and tuning down and asking for that help to um, find that divine plan that each of us has within us. So, um, and it leads you in a lot of different directions. That's the thing that i found is that, you know, you think you're going in one place, but maybe you need a little more education or um, you just... There's, there's some missing piece. Maybe you you get led because you have to um, meet up with another person, or goodness knows what things that you have to have in your skill set before you move forward. So I always trust that I'm being led to, to the right the right place. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Um. This has been an unfoldment for me, and I'm sure that it is for others as well. And to be able to um, host um, a venue, if you will, where we could bring on others who um, are further along in the process of online success and be able to provide people with um, some sense of uh, what it is that they attribute their success to. And I was on a um, call this morning and a uh, Mindset Victory call, and um, one of the leaders had mentioned there isn't, or, or someone, I'm not sure who mentioned it, had um, stated that everyone that they know that is succeeding in this environment is succeeding because they follow um, these principles, these mindset principles and have developed um, and challenged their own mindsets and have grown accordingly and their success comes from following these principles as science if you will and that really excites me and in my own walk 
with the relatively little exposure I have, I actually see that too. All of the leaders, all of the successful people that I've seen online, I've met online personally, I've come to know, they're all uh, following these principles. So with that in mind, you know, again, I step back and I look and I say, okay, who is succeeding and who is not? You know, look at what they're doing. And those that are not succeeding, don't do what they're doing. <laughs> and those that are succeeding, do what they're doing. So when you step back and you look at what are they doing, you know, they're doing mindset review. And as you mentioned, you're a woman of faith, and I'm a woman of faith as well. And so much of the mindset principle or the science thereof is um, at its real core is a trust and a faith and a belief um, in a greater uh, power or a mastermind, and, and in our particular language, it, it's God. And for some, they have a preference towards you, the universe or the divine mindset or, or infinite mindset. There's a lot of language out there, but I truly believe it comes down to the one core creator and um, to be able to in, invest in that um, in, in, in access to um, a creator or a power greater than ours that will help um, bring in to, uh, to manifest the desires of our heart, that will give us the desires of our heart. And so true. And the other thing is, is that even though you're asking and you believe, you still have to take action. And I think one of those important things is what do you do daily? But if you're just part time or if you're full time, there's a certain, you know, find that groove each day where you can work your business. And, um, you know, it may be an hour in the morning, first thing when you get up, or it may be an hour or two in the evening. But whatever it is for you, make that a priority in your life because even though it isn't. This may not start out as a full-time business for you. The one thing you, you need to do is to be disciplined. You know, along with that mindset, <laughs> you have to you have to put something in in order to get something back out. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, and in the in our calls or in the mindset, we'll often hear about um, that we be and that we do, and that we have. And that concept of be is along the lines of um, sort of just dreaming. You know, we have a dream, you know, that's in our hearts. We have a desire, and hopefully, you know, that is one that God has given us, and, and just our whole being, we just know that we want to do this. And we feel that, um, that we need to become that, or uh, go into that, if you will, and so we need to step, we need to do, we need to do. It's uh, faith-based, you know. Um, it is taking action, having trust and faith that we are being led to go in this direction, and so when we step out in faith and we do what we believe um, that we're being guided to do, intuition, gut feelings, hunches, whatever people refer to it. For me, it tends to be a, a still small voice. And when we step out and we just trust um, that God's going to support us, or for some people, the universe is going to support us in, in the courage um, that we've had to step out and see this into fruition. And um, if nothing else, it is an amazing, amazing process. And it's very gratifying. Um, it's very uh, uh, strengthening. I feel so much more of a stronger person now. I feel less fear-based. Like, I serve God, not fear. And um, I've been doing a lot of fear-busting. And I feel so... I've grown, and I, I appreciate that. I, I like who I'm becoming. Uh, I totally agree with the whole thing about this. This helps you grow. It helps you grow past um, one of the things that I always was trying to bust out of was childhood fears, things that, that happened to you a long time ago. Somebody said something, and so and then based on what they said way back when, you, you held yourself back thinking, oh no, you know, I don't want to go there again. 
Well, as we've talked about before, it doesn't matter. Those people have moved on with their life. They probably haven't given you another thought, and here you are giving all this energy to the statement they made years ago. And so learning how to get past those types of things and letting go of those beliefs and stepping out and realizing that on the other side of that, it's it's wide open world to you. And the fear um, that you had was, was just that. It was only a fear that getting past that gives you such a sense of uh, freedom, true freedom, to be who, who you were designed to be. So, yeah, it, uh, it is freedom. It's all about that freedom. And the truth will set you free. And so much of that, um, those childhood, uh, un you know, those were conditional type love type things. Those were hurtful statements that might have said. We were, we were created for unconditional love, and unfortunately that's not the case. And so there's so much uh, sensitivity, and, and so much of our, our belief system is, is um, developed by time we're you know, five, six, seven years old. And when we believe everything by the folks around us that, that we trust, our siblings, our parents, our grandparents, and, and the people that are in our little world at that age, and unfortunately, that's a very immature age, and we get locked into those mindsets, and we don't even really realize that. And I think that's why Scripture says, wake up, O ye sleeper, wake up, become aware of of the fact that you're on these autopilots based on a belief system that was established when you were very immature and didn't have the cognitive or reasoning to protect yourself and scripture speaks to guard your heart for it's the wellspring of life and you know the age of reasoning is what seven so and and given the fact that most of your um, belief system is formed by time you're seven you haven't guarded your heart with reason or rationale and so those are the kinds of beliefs that are are guiding us as we go out the rest of our lives and yet as a people most of us are not aware of this and those that are becoming aware of that are addressing it and they're challenging the lies and they're cleaning out, sweeping out, so to speak, but they're also um, establishing where they've just cleaned out, they're establishing truth. And that truth is really a victory mindset. It is, it is um, one of uh, courage and stepping out in the belief, things that we feel that God are calling us to. And for me, it's the Word of God and taking that in and filling that void with what God says is true. And in there, there's empowerment. So it's a really exciting time for me um, to be examining the fears that I have that are pretty much from that time period and they're how they're blocking me from becoming who I want to be from how I think I'm 